a triumphant President Donald Trump and jubilant fellow Republicans celebrated the passage of their $1.5 trillion tax overhaul Wednesday as a historic victory for the American people. The American people, however, will need some convincing. As Trump and GOP lawmakers gathered at the White House to cheer their first major legislative achievement and the biggest tax changes in a generation, some Republicans warned that the party could face a painful political backlash against an overhaul that offers corporations and wealthy taxpayers the biggest benefits and was projected to trigger the loss of health care coverage for millions of Americans. There was no hint of anxiety at the White House, though as the president and congressional Republicans pushed any qualms aside and reveled in a much-needed win at the end of a year marked by GOP infighting and political stumbles. We are making America great again, Trump declared, personally thanking his little team of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and House Speaker Paul Ryan, before lawmakers lavished praise upon a president they have often openly criticized. I don't know if we'll have bigger moments, but we hope to said Trump. The president was expected to sign the bill at a later date for technical reasons. In fact, the signing may be postponed until the start of the new calendar year in order to delay $120 billion in automatic cuts to popular programs such as Medicare and spare Republicans from having to explain them in an election year. President Donald Trump greets Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, during a bill passage event on the South Lawn of the White House in Washington on December 20, 2017, to acknowledge the final passage of tax cut legislation by Congress. President Donald Trump greets Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, during a bill passage event on the South Lawn of the White House in Washington on December 20, 2017, to acknowledge the final passage of tax cut legislation by Congress. The tax package provides a deep cut in the corporate rate, from 35% to 21%. On the individual side, about 80% of American households will get tax cuts next year, while about 5% will pay more, according to the Nonpartisan Tax Policy Center. People who make less than $25,000 will see an average tax cut of $60, those who earn between $49,000 and $86,000 will get about $900, and those in the top 1% of income earning more than $733,000 will receive around $51,000 in tax savings, the policy center said. The cuts will come at a price, the Congressional Budget Office predicts the legislation will add $1.4 trillion to the national debt over the next decade. Illinois lawmakers in Congress stuck with their parties Tuesday when the U.S. House advanced Republicans' sweeping rewrite of the federal tax code. U.S. Rep. Peter Roscombe, a Whedon Republican who chairs the House Tax Policy Subcommittee, said in remarks from the House floor that the bill offers. Illinois lawmakers in Congress stuck with their parties Tuesday when the U.S. House advanced Republicans' sweeping rewrite of the federal tax code.